Good morning, everybody. Did you enjoy my Cletus and Cars video? I hope you did. I hope you gave it a thumbs up, shared it with your friends. Uh, anyhow, you're probably wondering, where the hell am I at? These surroundings don't look familiar. And I'll get to that after we roll this intro. Guys, right now it is Tuesday. Um, I took yesterday off. Um, you know, we got we ordered the RV and we have it coming. So I spent a bit of time on Amazon yesterday ordering some stuff. You know, when you buy an RV, there's certain things that you're going to need to have for it. Um, so I got those things ordered and I'll probably show you that uh, later on in the video. I just kind of wanted to take the day to unwind, loosen my back up a little bit before I got started on the Project Z28. And then, much to my surprise, we got a call from Home Depot that a door that we had ordered for my wife's townhouse is coming today. So I had to come here. And thank you, Home Depot. You said they would be here at 8. Make sure we're here early. The first stop was at 7, and then we were the next in line at 8. And here it is, 11 o'clock. They have not showed up. So we have a big sliding door here, and it's just basically worn out. So we're going to be... Uh, taking that out and putting it in our i'm not gonna be doing that i can't pick that thing up but uh we ordered it through home depot and it's being delivered to the house and for like 75 dollars they'll bring it into the house what they call over the threshold so yeah having a bad back kind of sucks it ends up costing you in the long run but somebody has to be here because my wife and her daughter that lives here are both at work so as soon as this door gets off I'm going to make it back home, we're going to drill out that intake, and we're going to see how far we can get before I have to post this video. So, sorry I'm not going to get a lot of stuff done, but we're going to see how far we can get on the car before I have to get this posted. So, just wait for these guys to deliver the door and we get out of here. Tell them, man, no excuse. No excuse. Here's our door, our doggy door. And now it's like 12.30 because they just got here and dropped it off, so... Now I got quite a bit of a drive to get home, and we're gonna try to see where we can get with the Camaro. Hello everyone. So I have not yet gotten to the Camaro and working on any of that. When I got home yesterday, I was just tired. I don't know if I'm beefing the Texas trip or what, but uh, been busy doing other stuff. So we got an appointment next week, have gates installed in the fence. Um, ow. We also have, then we'll get the land cleared, and then we're gonna have a garage build. So today's been running around. Uh, the guys at Home Depot didn't drag that door inside as promised, so Home Depot refunded our money. And I kind of hurt my back because I had to drag it in. So I think that's why yesterday when I got home, I just went ahead and went to bed, laid down. My back was hurting. Now today, yeah, don't trip over your flip-flops. Well, I can be nice at times. So yeah, we're at Walmart. We're gonna get some more RV supplies because that thing's coming here shortly. And you food. Nice when you can. Wow. Yeah, I'm always a nice guy. Uh -huh. How are you? Yeah, just so when you're around, you make me mean. Due to the complexity, I don't know if it's complex, but due to having to drill into that intake manifold, I really just want to be not tired and thinking straight. Like a free sample of the builders. Wow. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, I just want to be, I really need to be like awake and just on it before I go drill into that thing to make any more mistakes on this build. So, so I have nothing. That's why there's going to be no vlog. Wednesday, it's Wednesday right now. I have no vlog. Um, I actually, me and her going to, we got to trim some tree stuff out of the way so the gates can get in. So busy doing a lot of stuff. Got a appointment tomorrow that's going to take up some time so this will probably be Friday's vlog sorry we got a shop all right it's the moment everybody's been waiting for for me to take a drill to this nice brand new intake manifold um, I put tape over here because my fuel injectors are installed and I don't want metal shavings getting down into there and just for safety sakes whatever I just covered up my water ports so Let's we'll see how this goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, it wasn't bad.
So there we go. Ken was right. It wasn't really anything to drill in this thing out. So we're going to go ahead and finish drilling this. And then uh, I got the gaskets mocked up. I got them uh, taped with this painter tape on there. Then we'll see if these bolts will go in. <clears throat> all right. Gaskets are in place. I got all bolts in. I don't have them torqued all the way down, but the angle's not going to change. I got them all about halfway threaded. Some are still a little bit tighter than others, but it's going in, so I think we got this pretty much resolved. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take this manifold back off. I'm going to put a little sealant. Uh, there's definitely a sealant that has to go on these front and rear valley. I'm going to put a little RTV around the water jackets. Get this in place. We're going to go ahead and get these distributor put in and the wires, and then uh, we'll check back in with you. So, intake manifold is completely bolted in and torqued as best as I could. I really cannot get a torque wrench in here. Now, while the Allen screws look really cool, they are a major pain in the ass to work with. So, <coughs> that being said, it just took a long time with the little Allen wrench, but we got them down. Only problem I have is this. Let's see if I can shine some light on it, but uh. This is the ignition coil, and from the factory, it bolts right here in the back of the intake. The problem that I have here, and we'll show you real quick. See, this intake has this piece machined out, and see, it goes in between. So, I'm either going to have to try to cut the bracket to match this piece, or we're going to have to find another place to put that coil. As you can see here, look at that. My fuel lines are on. I got the valve cover here. Look at that. Plenty of room. Plenty of room for the engine to torque. Same thing here with the factory fuel line. I just have one tiny little connection right here to hook the factory fuel line to here. And that should flow pretty good. I'm still not sure how that's going to line up with the um, alternator and stuff that's going to be here. But the radiator hose is going to follow a line similar to that. So uh, hoping it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Everything set up yesterday. I got the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, set to about 45 pounds and I kept smelling fuel but I couldn't find it the problem was I wasn't looking over here there was a puddle forming all over the intake manifold it appears these two injectors here are just pouring fuel out so probably nicked the o-rings whenever I installed it good thing is I have extras There went my washers. Great. Yeah, I believe this one really looks like it's leaking bad. I don't get it. O ring looks fine. Oh, well, throw some new ones in. Before anybody asks, yes, I used sealant on the uh, uh, bolts for the intake manifold. So right here we got a little bit of motor oil. I'm going to go ahead and put on this O-ring. Try to help it slide into place. The existing ones here. Ooh, that feels good. All right. And now I need to go fish out my washer that I set flying. Anyway, these magnetic sweeper things from Harbor Freight are a real lifesaver. Just stick it underneath the car and you hear click. You found your tool, nut, bolt, provided not aluminum. Alright, 
please, please, please let this work. I really don't want any more problems. Can we just get ahead? All right, moment of truth. I'm going to turn on the car and the fuel shoots out of these two injectors and I know I'm screwed. Alright, she is holding fuel pressure now. Um, <laughs> I replaced these two O-rings, I turned the car on, and the front two decided to start spewing oil. Or, oil, gas. So, um, got this fixed. I was underneath, I drained the oil, all fresh oil in an oil filter, because this engine's been open for a while, and I didn't want to start it unless I had the brake in oil in here, which is, has like a zinc additive for the new cam. And uh, this is for you, Sparty Nation. You wanted me to uh, spool this thing up. So, see if we get some oil pressure going. I hear it. There we go. There we go. All right, we had uh, oil flow from the push rods down to the uh, down the rocker arm, so system should be nicely primed. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is install the distributor. I need to look in there and see where the oil pump is in relation to where the distributor cap is going to. Because generally, what you want is your rotor cap to point at cylinder number one. So I need to figure out from there where. Uh, I need the oil pump to line up, so we're going to go ahead and get the distributor in, uh, and get the rest of this intake put on, and then when I get the intake manifold on, we should be, or the valve covers on, we should be ready to start this. So, fingers crossed, we're going to hear this thing run shortly. Got the distributor in, uh, it's pretty much bolted down. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is I have no retard left on the timing because I mentioned this in an earlier video the distributor the base of it hits the intake manifold so I already have the uh, harmonic balancer set at about 10 degrees I believe advanced I think this is as far as it goes it might be 12 I don't recall um, I think I have it set at 10 degrees advanced and then what I was hoping to do is line up the distributor so that way we're all we should already be at 10 degrees advanced um, if I need more that works out but it's you might be able to see this wiring harness is really tight. It's already pulling, so I'm really kind of going to be limited. So hopefully it's going to work out. If not, it's going to be a major pain. I'll have to pull this distributor out, and we'll have to try to turn the oil pump a little bit and change one gear. Or I might just have to move each spark plug one. Oops, there goes my light. And move... Uh, each spark plug over and then work it that way. Like I said, I'm, I'm really kind of limited. This way I'm hitting the intake manifold. This way I'm really tight on how much wiring I have. But uh, this is where we're at and I'm gonna have to stop. So let me switch over here. Generally, I don't like wearing my hat backwards like this. It's not the way they were designed to be, but the way the light shining above me is like <laughs> doing this to my face, if you see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing around. Um, thing I love about this platform with YouTube is like the friendships that you can make. Like one of my subscribers that I met, San Key, sent me a message wanting to know, hey, how's everything going? Uh, haven't seen a video from you. So, uh, and then I realized that right now it's Thursday night. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to stop it here so I can go ahead and get this posted as Friday's vlog. Um, the Cletus and Cars was really meant to be a Monday vlog, but. Uh, Daily ZL1 really wanted to get that pushed out to try to get um, both of us ahead of Cletus's video, which was a good move. Thank him for that. Uh, so we both were able to get our videos out, be one of the first videos out there ahead of the group. So normally I would have posted it later, but he kind of pushed me to go ahead and get that thing knocked out that night. And I mean, that was a 4 a.m. morning trying to get that done. So... Um, so that was kind of really going to be my Monday vlog. And then the way the week was going, I really didn't have anything for you come Wednesday. And now I'm running short at the week. So uh, I think we're getting pretty close to getting this thing started. 
I'm just gonna put on the spark plug wires. Oh, I have to, I got the coil right here in the vise. I'm gonna start grinding on that, try to get it mounted. We're going to get the spark plug wires on and then I have the rest of the T, the uh, first TPI intake right here. Once I get that on, I think I might be able to do a quick start. I won't have any antifreeze or anything in the engine, but I think we can hit the key. We'll find out right then if this thing will start. Although, granted, it's really not the way I want to do it. I don't want to break in the cam properly, but um, I really just want to really just want to hear this thing start. And uh, provided it starts, then we'll go ahead and start getting the accessories bolted on. And uh, it shouldn't be much after that. Then I'll just have to get it to an exhaust shop to get the two pieces of exhaust kind of hooked up, which I still have to run to the auto parts store, see if I can get some bendy pipe. So... Man, it's uh, it's getting close, guys. It's getting close. Uh, we got fuel. We got pressure. Now we just need spark and air. So we got one of the three equations needed to get the thing running. So, man, thank you, everyone, for your support. Uh, exciting stuff, man. We should hear this car run shortly, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help a veteran out. Help me grow this channel. Uh, like, share, comments appreciated. And uh, until then, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.